you work out of? I work out of Merlo. I've worked out of center for about five or six years, and then I've been the last seven years at Merlo. Uh, I don't think we ever met. Huh. I'm, I'm a career mini runner. That oh, might be well, part of the reasons. Yeah. Oh, uh, maybe that's why. Yeah, I was always extra bored. Did you work at? Well, Merlo? I was over at Light Rail for three and a half years, and so you know, you know, my friend Scott. Yeah, yeah. we're good friends. We we chat a lot. We uh. Oh we, yeah. He's probably. He's probably mad at me. I've I've had a long held uh, grudge against TriMet for what they did to me. You know that they keep me living over here. I can't go back to the state. Why they can't my parents. Why can't you go back to the state? Well, they said I was going around threatening people. I haven't left Thailand in uh, since uh, I haven't gone back to the U.S. since uh, February of um, I left I left I left the U.S. and February of 2005, and I haven't been back since. They put up this wanted poster on yeah. me and saying I was going around threatening people. Yeah, I, I was made by Maxine Bernstein. I remember seeing that. Yeah, yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Platforms I, and yeah, I never had any problem with the TriMet people. I never have. Uh, I don't know. I mean, your stories. Well, in, why would they have a grudge? That's what I don't understand. Why would they do that? It was all part of a cover-up. It was just to make them look good. Why, I, I'm not a racist. I, you know, I lost my virginity with a black woman. My first wife was Korean. I had a, a girlfriend that was darker than the person I allegedly said something to. There was a racial word that I allegedly said. I'm not a racist. Why would I use a racial word? Why would I use the N-word to a Filipino? I lived in Hawaii for 20 years. I, I would never call a Filipino an N-word. I don't even use the N-word in my speech. You know, yeah. and... Uh, you know, I don't ever call anybody words. Why would I live in West Africa? Why would I live in uh, Thailand? Why? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make sense. There was no black man at the restaurant. Ken West, uh, who's a, a light rail operator, he retired over here too. He's back there in the States right now. He'll give you a testimony that what happened at the hearing, there was no black man. There was no, They wouldn't even allow him to enter his testimony. It was just a big cover-up. They didn't want to hear anything. And, and uh, you know, because that blemish went on my record, I can't, I can't get decent work in the U.S. I had to work over here. Huh. And uh, what would be the motive? Uh, what keeps, what would be the motivation for them to do that to you, though? I mean, why would they bother? I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I had a dark girlfriend. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, I, I did have some time loss because I. I w one time I was stuck in China. I couldn't get back because of the SARS epidemic. Uh, there was another time I was stuck in Texas uh, because of the 911. I, I really don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, really I, all the times I've ever dealt with the TriMet well, management, I have never found them unreasonable, I, and I wouldn't make that up. I, I, just, I, have, no, I have nothing bad to I say. I never did either. I, I was the... It just I came out of the my, blue uh, then. My just... record, I had uh, safety awards. I had a, uh, I was a candidate for a uh, uh, operator of the month one time. I don't know. That's yeah. why I sent you that email. I want to know too. And that's what. That's one reason why I'm so upset because they keep me. They, they never gave me answers to why. Didn't Here's you get Jonathan? What? Why? Did you ever get an attorney for this? Well, what Tr Trimet uh, and now Zulu told me, he said first I would have to exhaust the. Uh, um, I would have to go through the process with the union before I could hire an attorney. That was a big lie. And um, yeah, that's not so, true. No, I never did. And then when I came over here, I had to. I had a house payment, and I had to seek work. I had to get out of here. I said, "Yeah, I said, you know, let, let me go over there. I'll live off my uh, uh, retirement. I get a military retirement." And I said, uh, "Let me." Let me go over there. You give me a heads up when. Oh, let me back up. First, Al Zulu said the whole process would take one year to go through the process, the appeals and everything. So I said, well, I'm going to go over to Thailand. You give me a heads up uh, whenever a hearing was coming up. And then Greg McGrew never gave me the heads up. And then uh, 
And then I, I went over the, I didn't know there was three months. I had three months to get an attorney. I didn't know that. And uh, they just kept me in, uh, you know, I was ignorant about a lot of things. And, you know. Well, it's an interesting story. I, well, I'm, I just don't see the motivation uh, for the TriMet. I just don't understand the motivation for the TriMet management to be bothered with it. Well, I've heard some other uh, stories that are. You, sim- ask, you, you, ask, you ask Hayden. Well, Hayden yeah. was a station agent, or you asked John, or whatever. Well, they're not. Is. They're obviously they're not going to talk to me about any of this. You know that. Uh, it, you don't know anything yeah. about those John Hunt fake websites, do you? About what? The John Hunt websites that have been pop- popping up. There's no, been there's uh, been some fraudulent John Hunt websites pop- on the internet. Your name has been thrown no, out there about it. Uh, yeah. Have you seen those websites? I sure wouldn't put my name out there. Are you talking about my blog that I have? No, my uh, no, not your my, blog. My uh, TriMet blog. No, not yours. He's got some. No. There's some John Hunt websites that are out no. there that are making some weird claims about John. They're fraudulent websites. No. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it sucks. And I'm sorry to hear that. You know, I don't even know you. I just thought your story was interesting. Yeah, I, I collect like TriMet stories and stuff. I, I'm interested in the in the culture of TriMet and the institution of TriMet and the people in TriMet. You know, I'm fascinated by the uh, culture. Uh, and that what, your story is a great. Well, uh, when you look at uh, I don't know. What was I gonna say? Yeah, if you can. I do know one thing. There was a time when I was at Rail, I had a thing going on with Doug's thing going on. Maybe uh, that got me in trouble one time, and maybe that that could have been a motivation why they got rid of me. I don't know. But, see, I, I was still denied uh, a hearing. You know, they wouldn't allow my witness testimony. They, 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 they didn't give me a, a fair trial. There's been people at TriMet have done far worse things than I have, and they, they were reinstated. Yeah, and uh, that, it was just totally unfair. I paid union de- dues for nine and a half years. I was entitled to my uh, hearing, and uh, yeah, I've heard about the transcripts the will show that that I was cleared. Uh, John Hunt won't even give me a, a transcript of what took place. I was going to enter that. I needed that for an attorney. And uh, you know, what what can I say? I don't know. I don't know. It's, I don't know what to say either. I, I'm interested. In, it's terrible that uh, you know you'd lose your, your retirement and all that stuff over there. That, you know. Yeah. All I wanted to do was get my side of the story out out there. You know. It, you know. Uh, then you came along and you posted it. You know. And I, you know. That's it. I'm, I'm doing okay financially over here. You know. If I won't work, I work. Uh, you know. I can go back to what I was doing. Is, but you know, here I gotta live over here. And, uh, what you can't come back to them? Which I really don't mind either. What you can't come back here? I, well, what would I do? I don't my, know. My whole living's been. Uh, I was a, a flight instructor for seven years. Uh, I drew drove buses, trucks, and long haul, and trimet for twenty years. But with that, let me show my record. Who's going to hire you? You know, I mean, I don't know. It's not that easy uh, to no, find I, out that I, stuff. You know, I mean, you can't really find out these personnel things are kind of uh, they're not open to. They, I'm sure TriMet wouldn't be discussing it with anybody. They would show that maybe you were terminated for some reason, but I don't. You know, I don't know how that works. I can't imagine that you'd have I to leave know. the. I can't imagine that you'd have to leave the country over something TriMet would has done. <laughs> well, uh, no, I, They're not that powerful of a huh? No, I'm prevented from. No, no, I could, uh, I could circumvent uh, Oregon, you know, but uh, you know, with this new, these new laws like the Homeland Security, you don't want to mess with them. You know, they, they'll pick you up on suspicion of any little thing, and uh, the, you know, they they can freeze your bank accounts. They can label you a terrorist. You don't want to mess with them. I always, I always tell people there's more freedom living in Thailand than there is over there. You know, there's so much freedom. You can go out on the street, drink a beer. You can go up on a rooftop of a building, drink a beer. You can, I mean, you have freedom of expression over here. Back in the U.S., you don't have freedom of expression. 